Good day. In this clip, we're going to create the gears for James Ferguson's Ollie. Here, we're starting with some CZ120 free cutting brass, and I'm using a bandsaw just to rough out the shape. You could, of course, use a jeweler saw or a piercing saw, but I'm just using the tools I've got in front of. Once the wheels are cut down to size, we're going to mount them using a super glue arbor. This is an aluminium block uh, that's been turned down and faced off. I've also slightly undercut it right in the centre and threaded it. I'm using some super glue and using the tail stock, I push the wheel blank with a heavy centre punch to get it roughly centred onto the arbor itself. The glue is left to set for about five minutes. The tailstock can be removed and it's ready to start turning. The first step was to drill and then ream the centre bore uh, and then I could turn down the recess. I actually went slightly out of order here and in retrospect I should have used this uh, video sequence. I had on this clip already cut the teeth and remounted it of course, really, I should have cut the recess for the collet at this point here now. Finally, the wheel blank can be turned to the required outside diameter, and then the whole chuck was removed and taken over to the milling machine for cutting the teeth. To cut the teeth, I'm using a Vertex 4 inch rotary table that I've converted uh, to run off Steve Ward's uh, divider and you can see I've mounted that on the machine and ensured that the centre height is uh, up to. It's then a case of taking cuts, the full depth, um, which was a bit tricky in this project. Obviously with three teeth all of the same diameter with different tooth counts the actual depth of the cut is always going to be a little bit of a fudge. It's just a case then of dividing it by the correct number of teeth and ensuring that at the end all three of the teeth mesh with a larger cut. Steve Ward's rotary table conversion is uh, a real help here. Uh, it's a fairly simple project to do, you can see it on the CNC forums or on uh, Steve's website directly, World of Ward. Um, it's a free project and basically allows you to convert any rotary table uh, so that it's CNC controlled. It's actually controlled by a little chip. Um, it needs to be programmed um, and quite simply it's a case then of putting in the divisions uh, and pressing forward to it and backwards to rotate it each time. Uh, it improves speed no end. Um, and it's far, far more flexible than using the dividing head than I used to use. I was actually a little bit disappointed with this, it had such a large backing plate on, um, but I don't think my cutters were sharp enough and it did throw quite a few burrs. So I just gave it a light sanding just to finish it off and obviously I'll polish it. With it. Once the wheels were complete, all wheels were completed in exactly the same way and then it was on to the large thick wheel that drives all, uh, all three of the, the single axis wheels. So a large 1.5 inch uh, piece of brass was chucked up. I turned down the end just to hold it in my uh, collet chuck and then I cleaned off part of the end and faced it off. Went through a similar process as the other gears. Uh, I spot drilled, drilled and then reamed out the centre bore. And then I again took it over to the mill and started cutting the, the teeth. And after learning my lesson on the gears, you can see that I've done it in the correct machine over here and I've reamed out, um, bored out for the collet chuck. The collet flange is going to sit in this groove so it doesn't take up any more room than it needs to uh, when it's mounted between the blocks. So from here, it was all built. Once again, I spent a long, long time with a pointer and accurately measuring out, ensuring that I was perfectly in the centre height, 
number of failed gears and clock wheels that I've had uh, not getting my, uh, my cutter perfect in the centre. And then it was exactly the same this time but on a much longer length and obviously a lot more material to move uh, and this process was a lot, lot slower. Thankfully I could have a large bar and actually on this one piece of load I made enough for three large, uh, large wheels uh, and even if I wanted to part it on some smaller wheels that and now finally with the large length of uh, gear finished I could test the meshing using uh, by mounting it on the lathe I used a piece of 10mm stock uh, mounted the three wheels between uh, two, two bearings just to hold them together and thankfully I got a, uh, a good mate to and then finally it was just a case of parting off the, the larger gear And then that was it, all of the gears created for the this project, uh, you've got the large wheel there and then the final three different uh, tooth count wheels all the same diameter and the final driving wheel which fits right at one end. Thanks for watching.